You're welcome back, and this is still two three new days. Time now for the big conversation, the big issue. But I'd like to say good morning to you and happy AU Day again. If you're wondering how we're dressed like this, of course, we're representing Africa. And this morning, you can call me Arifa Amani. And Arifa means an intelligent, well-educated woman who recognizes Islam. Amani means um, peace and safety, and we're praying for peace and safety in Sudan following uh, the conflicts that arose from April this year. There's some truths, as at one week ago, but uh, we're hearing that there could be some little conflicts here and there being generated. So we're praying overall, not just for Sudan, but for Africa, and hoping that we can eventually become an independent continent. But again, good morning to you. You can join us via social media. Uh, on Facebook, we're streaming live. The hashtag is TV3 New Day. Just find us at TV3 Ghana. And also send your messages in. Let's have a conversation. You can find us also on DSTV, channel 279. So this is the look that I'm, I attempted this morning. And I should say thank you so much um, to Nadine for styling me. So what you're seeing on TV, it's called La Faya. It's a, an, a look that's called La Faya or the tube. And it is worn by Sudanese women. The woman on my right hand or is she on my left okay the one in red well she's dressed as a bride now usually if you're a bride that's when you get the extra jewelry on your arms your nose etc but for me i took it simple this morning and i'm told that i'm representing the bride's mother but this is how the rich women in sudan dress and usually starting from the 1800s up until now their rich merchant husbands would go and buy you know long pieces of fabric silk fabric to adorn them in them just to showcase their beautiful wives and that's why we're dressed like this this morning but let's go straight into the big issue and of course i'd like to uh, wish my guest this morning a uh, happy au day and we have lerato musa saka she's a member of the NPP communications team. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you too? I'm fine, thank you. I was trying, there's a greeting, Lafia, Lafia. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. No, but there's a Lafia Lo and Lafia something. Kolafia. Kolafia. Yeah. And then I say Lafia Lo. Yes. That means that's what? Hausa. Oh, that's Hausa. That yeah. means, what does that mean? More like um, Just a general greeting? How, how do I put it? My Hausa is terrible. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well. Hausa is not the only language spoken of by course. the Northerners, so no, I totally Hausa understand. Hausa is actually not a Northern it's language. It's not an, okay. Where is it from? It, should I say is it African, more Nigerian than, than Ghanaian. Okay. Okay. So I you see. find it in the, more in the Zungus I see. than in the Northern communities. Ah. But the perception is that every Northern person, every, should be able every to Muslim speak, yes. speak Hausa. But Hausa is not a I see. Ghanaian Happy language. AU Day to you, by the way. Same How are you me. feeling this morning? I mean... We have life. That's mm. the most important thing. Okay. And we just uh, hope and pray that all the plans, uh, all uh, agenda, the agenda 2036 and all the other uh, initiatives and policies mm. that are supposed to uh, give a boost to the development of Africa mm. and most especially the unity see the light of day definitely and also margaret and is a member of the ndc's communications team good morning how are you doing i'm good happy au day to you it's like your energy levels are down is everything okay yeah, the, the 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 au day the way it has stressed me i know you have to dress up <laughs> don't, don't even start <laughs> my, the way my my small madam <laughs> gave me instructions, you know, on mm. Wednesday we have to design her dress. She's representing Guinea-Bissau. Ah. And I have to cook a meal from Guinea. <laughs> they are made in meal of Guinea-Bissau. So, so what, what's so it called? I woke up, I've forgotten the name. I, she gave me the recipe and the quantity and whatever. I woke up at 2 a.m. Hey, you oh, have suffered. Well, I, Belated Happy Mother's Day again then. <laughs> so, right, I was in the kitchen <laughs> and I was like, I didn't do this to my mother. Okay. Oh, <laughs> are you sure you didn't? No, no, probably I'm, I'm, out I'm in other ways. Yes, in other ways, but not this. Anyway, happy when Mother's you... Day. I mean, today, I have ah. felt why mothers <laughs> are, you know, so celebrated. Bella, it's not easy. It's 2 a.m. And you have Because I have to prepare and come here, mm, you know. This is well. I, I committed a crime by forgetting. You forgot? Hey! So, hey. <laughs> have they forgiven you for this? No, then no we, we need to in the whole discuss year, it In the whole school. year, they'll, they'll keep reminding yes. me. Yes. I know. I, know. I, I mean, know. mothers are doing well. Those who have, my, my mom <laughs> had six. She's done so well. Those who it's had ten. Easy. Mine is like, just one is like ten for me. Mm. 
realize now. How can you wake up at And I don't, I don't even want to go So on much for encouraging some of us to go to motherhood. Now you're saying my one child is like 10 for me. What am I supposed to do? But and also... The, <laughs> and the, wor the worst is when you complain and your mother says if your children are going to do half of what you did to her, you survive. Uh, that's what know, they keep right? saying. So, <laughs> it's, 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 but also it's, joining us via Zoom, we have an economist, Dr. Ebo Butri. Mm. Good morning, Doc. I hope you're well. Good morning, Bella. Thank you for joining I'm us. I'm fine. Happy AU Day to you as well. How are you marking the day? Um, I'll be in the office, <laughs> working. Okay. I see. Yeah. That's all you're doing? Yeah. I see. Quick one, since you're economist, um, we have a question that we've been circulating, that if we could choose any African president to be the president of the United States, who do you think would do a fantastic job? I would say... Well, United States of Ghani. Africa, not America. So if we could have a United States of Africa like the Osajifo had wanted and dreamt of, who would be that one African president now that can do that job? Cap current president? Yes. I would say Paul Kagame. Paul Kagame of Rwanda? Yeah, Paul Kagame. Why him in particular? Uh, because I, I think he's more pan-African than most of our African presidents. Mm. Um, yeah, he's okay. uh, doing a lot of stuff, um, taking um, a lot of initiatives to help his country. I'm not mm. saying everything is all good and rosy, yeah. but um, I think he's doing a good job. Okay, I might as well. And then, me. okay. Oh, you already have the, advice in mind? Yeah, I would take the Burkina Faso uh, leader. Oh, him, okay. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Trying to break away from the um, French, um, yeah, from the French is also a very good initiative. Okay, let me throw it to my guest in the French studio. Countries. All right, thank you, Doc. Let me throw it to my guest in the studio before we start our, story, um, you know, our conversation for today. I almost certainly know whose names are going to be mentioned, but let's try anyway. <laughs> Rato, one African president to become the president of the United States of Africa. I mean, you already know the answer. What's the answer? Um, it's the president of the republic. Which republic? Ghana. Okay. So for me, it's uh, the vision of um, seeing to it that um, the generations coming after us mm. have a foundation that will um, put them, make them uh, comfortable enough okay. to, to be in the world and do great things. Mm. And that's based on their policies and their where if you piece them together, is a whole story that we may not see what the benefits are today, okay. but in years to come, because mm. I mean, education, agric health, are the pivotal uh, ones. Mm. We may not see, especially for the education in the next uh, five or 10 years, or probably in his lifetime, mm. but down the line, another 15 to 20 years, when we see the quality of uh, human resources mm. and the quality of um, uh, industries and the production, the things we produce in this country, maybe that'll be when, because when uh, President Nkrumah was alive, mm. there were a lot of uh, complaints and when he was doing all that he was doing. But today, we're nothing goes without mm. us talking about President Nkrumah. So you Nkoma. think that we'll so celebrate? I think transformational. Uh, yes, in I the think, next, what, 10 years? Yeah, transformational. I mean, for those of us who understand what is being done, we see it now. Okay. For those who still think, when down the line, when we start seeing the benefits of these mm. uh, transformational policies, we we'll understand what uh, he was trying to do. Mago, would you also say President Nkrumah? Bella, good morning to you. And good morning to your viewers. Um, with Africa, the kind of leaders that we need, first of all, you must check the character and the attributes of the person mm. who is coming to lead. Because no matter what it is, he brings his experience to bear. And I would choose President Mahama any day, any time, because he's one of a kind. Okay. He's actually an enigma. Mm. His kind... It's so rare. But we're talking about current president, sitting president at the moment. I will always go for him because he's capable he's of becoming sitting. a president. He's not okay. sitting at the moment. Bella. So can we limit Sit. the conversation to those who are currently president? Sitting across president. Across Africa. Across Africa. Mm. You want to start from Better? home? Your own president at the oh, moment? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, why? Where we are today, why would I wish that for the entire Africa continent? I won't. Mm. With what he's done to us, 
What Why do I done? want him to replicate it or what replicate it in other countries? What has he done? No, no, no. He's, he's a failure. His governance is a complete waste of time. Probably I will go for uh, Paul Kigami as okay. yes. He is good and um, he, he has exhibited leadership and mm. selflessness. Okay. You know, he's, he's focused and uh, he thinks about the future. He's not just a politician, but he's a leader who thinks about the generations even yet unborn. I see. And he's able to, to take decisions mm. regardless of who is involved. What is important is that uh, it is for the greater good of the people. So I'll always go for it. For my president, President Kufuado, one to ten, I'll not, he'll not even come near. One to ten? He so won't even buy it, he won't get? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Well, good morning to Nadine again. Um, Kates Kaftans GH, you can find her on social media.